Okay. I'm not allowed to sit down, apparently. Orders from Shona. <laughs> oh, welcome to the um, presentations for the Brisbane Trial Ultra uh, this morning, this beautiful, sunny Brisbane day. Haven't we turned it on for our visitors from Victoria, New South Wales, Victoria? We've got people from Perth, we've got people from Spain, we've got people from everywhere. So it's actually amazing, and thank you for coming down here. We'll try and get through this pretty quickly because I know a lot of you just want to go to bed. And some of us do too. Or to the bar. Actually, yeah, it's been too long since I had a beer. Okay, so we're going to start with the 20 kilometre, which was on this morning. You said 20, Shona. Okay, so we're going to start with the females. In, first pla in third place was Veronique Schneer. In the, in, the, in the 20k run this morning. Second place was Heidi Storer. And first place was Emmanuel Chaput. Did I say that right? Yeah, so these are international runners we've got here come down to do our um, Brisbane Trail Ultra 20. No, second was Heidi. Yeah. Heidi, are you here? Heidi Storer? So yeah, I think a Canadian, these two girls are Canadian, is that right? Yes. So yeah, we, we, we really are a, a, an international event. Uh, then we're going to move on to the 10K. So the 10K, that kicked off yesterday morning. Um, so those people may or may not be here, so we'll just go through them quickly. So our females in the 10K, was in third place, was Fiona Layden. Tegan Daly was second. And well done, Tegan, second place. And Donna Henderson was first in our 10K. So it's really great to see these guys coming out and just getting a taste of what it is to run on our trails here in Brisbane. <laughs> so we'll move on to the BTU 10K for the men. So in third place with Daniel Keenan. Second place was Philip Scott. And first place was Luke Davison. do the 30k so this was one of the was, was one of our big ones our Sparta Spartan Trail Championship event um, we had a lot of fun yesterday this was actually streamed live we had some cameras posting um, live to Facebook um, through our Facebook page you can actually go back and watch that uh, those um, videos on Facebook if you're interested. Um, there's a little bit of commentary. I apologise for some of what I might have said about people. But we'll start with the first place in the 30k. Sorry. Fifth place for the men. We've got men or females? Training? We'll start with female. Uh, Deborah Kabua was fifth. Fourth place was Anna Munro. So I know Anna was here at this event last year and I think she um, would have given the Red Bull climb a good crack. Was Anna Munro. Third place, is Anna here? Third place was Matricia McKibben. Well done, Matricia. One of our Victorian athletes who are really excited to have um, with us here in Brisbane was Simone Brick. She was second. And to, to really give a taste of what it's like to, to, to run strong on the hills, 
was at first place was Sarah Alonzo Martinez. And Sarah took out the course record. In fact, both Sarah and Simone were under our previous course record. The time will be online. You can look that up. Yeah. We'll work out the times. <laughs> Still working on the times. But we know we got the placing right. So I think that's the main thing for today. Congratulations, girls. So the 30K this year was again a very competitive race. Um, and last year's um, winner, Aiden, came back to, to um, defend his title despite running a marathon last weekend. Um, but we'll go, and there was a little bit of controversy there because there was a little bit of issue with uh, the course, but we think we've sorted it out. So in fifth place was Gabriel Fior. I know he can't be here this morning. Um, he had to go to work. Yep, yeah. In fourth place was Peter Babis. Peter Babis? Peter! Yeah, so he actually ran our 110k last year and finished on the podium and he came back to do the 30 this year. Third place was Brody Nankervis. Second place was Aiden and he definitely left it all out there on the course. Um, good on you, Aiden, for coming back here and, and supporting this event at this time and to really, yeah, throwing down that challenge to um, Antonio, who was our winner yesterday. Yeah. We had a lot of discussion. I don't know, Aiden, if you watched the live feed, but we were wondering how, how your legs were going to go after that super fast marathon last weekend. So it wasn't even seven days since he ran a 2.20 marathon. Yeah. And so, and, and, and Antonio's actually done the Lavarado Trail too recently. So, yeah, these guys are really showing some resilience. So because that was our Spartan Trail World, Ch World Championship event, we have um, five places. In our 60K, we just do the three. This one's a bit special because it's uh, the, uh, one of our premier events as part of this uh, um, weekend. So this is the 60K. We're starting with the females. So in third place was Ellen Bradley. So it was a really competitive race again, this 60K. I think Ellen was, um, had a real good duel for second and third place with Carol Robertson. Carol came in in second. So Carol's been here every year at this event. She ran the 60K in 2019, finished second. She ran the 110K in, the, in 2020 and finished second. She came back and did the mile last year, finished fourth, and she's back here again this year, so it's four years in a row for Carol and she finished second. And I have a feeling she might not be here. Because she, she lives up on the, co on the sunny coast. Yeah. But yeah, two credit to Carol. She's, uh, and I think she's run a pretty fast marathon recently too, up at Noosa. In first place in the 60K, and we loved having her here for her first place of the Brisbane Trails, was Jill Fowler. So Jill's no stranger to some longer events, but she just felt really comfortable out there in the 60K. She did say they were hard trails, so yeah, we know we have some hard trails here. So well done, Jill. We well, hope we see you back here.
Okay, let's move on to the 60k for the men. So in third place we had Lachlan Jamison. Second place was uh, one of our Spanish athletes, Marcus Pasquel Martin. And this was his longest run. He kept, he kept um, mentioning to us last night when we interviewed him that, oh, yeah, that's, it wasn't 60, it was 65. <laughs> and I think he ran a few bonus Ks measuring it as 67. <laughs> yeah, but they're all really, really happy to come here and, and, and support this event. So it's been amazing having them. And first place was Ian Best. So congratulations, Ian. I think, Ian, you did a, a mountain race recently? Alpine Challenge, the 100? Yeah, so it was good to see him here come up from Canberra. Is that right? Yeah. Jeff Russell, are you here, please? Jeff, I need your help. So we're going to get Jeff. Jeff's one of our. You, what, what's your role at track, Jeff? Uh, volunteer and. Um, so Jeff was out there setting up the start line. He did a bit of course marking. He did a lot of driving around, a um, bit of dropping off, picking up of general, yeah, making sure the course is organising for runners, yeah, making sure the course was mar well marked for you all, because some courses at the station. So thanks, Jeff, for all of your help. So for that, we'll give you the pleasure of giving out the so a bit of cash. So in the, what are we starting with there? Third place female, Katrina Baker. In second place, we have a run, I think she's managed to get across the border and run with us here, is Ursula Adams. And first place, and she was super excited to come down that chute and break the tape last night. She's come all the way from Western Australia. She was second here last year in the 110, Jen Millam. <laughs> So a great big thank you to the ex for giving for supporting uh, the event and actually, you know, to, re to get some prize money in Ultra of this magnitude is pretty rare, especially in Australia, so we really thank you for supporting this event and everything they do for us. So a big shout out there. So we'll move on to the men in the 110. In first place was Alexi Hastings. In second place, have we got Alexi here? Second place was Matt Gore. Matt's here. And we had a great chat. See, Matt asked me a lot about what shoes to wear. So I'd love to know, Matt, what shoes did you end up wearing? So we had a bit of a discussion whether or not to wear road shoes or trail shoes on the, on the trail and he ended up with the trail shoes. So I think that was probably a good choice given his placing there. And in first place was Mike Carroll. So Mike came back to defend his title and successful. We had a bit of a chat last night. So I think I'd, I'd urge you to go onto the Facebook and have a look at that. Because you probably, or some of you were probably still running or in bed when we had that little chat. He um, broke um, Vlad's course record in the 110. Um, and we, it's really great to have him up from um, Canberra. We love it when people come back. We hope we will come back. If you don't feel up to doing the, the longer runs, you definitely come and do one of the shorter runs and spend some time with us here in Brisbane.
Ms. Murray. Okay. We're going to start with our women. Only because that's pretty easy. Just goes to show how challenging this event is. We did have a lot of women who signed up and really committed to running this event and finishing and really did go out there and give it a good crack. But we've only had one finisher and still an amazing time. She hiked it in a really strong hike there in the finishing stages. That was Marie Connor. So Marie won, broke the course record here last year. She broke the, I think she took a couple of hours off that course record this year. She didn't have the run she had last year, but she comes away with the win in way and defends, defends her title. title. So, so it's not too often, often you get a, a female or anyone actually defending their mile of title. Yeah. Okay. She, she looks, looks amazingly fresh. fresh. I, I probably, probably don't, don't think she's had much sleep. sleep. So we'll move on to Okay, we're going to go on to uh, do the men's top 5 in the 100 miles. So in 5th place was Anthony Hayward. So hopefully Anthony's had enough time to have a quick shower, a bit of a nap, and he's got to get down here to the finish precinct. No? I think he's sleeping. Oh, we know fourth place is here, so we can do that one. In fourth place is one of our local runners, one who's probably very well known in ultra circles because he races everything, Ryan Crawford. <laughs> In third place was David Vroom. Well done, David. It's been great to see you. Where have you come from, David? Where have you come from? Brizzy. Oh, it's from Brisbane. Oh, so he was the last one to sign up for the miler, apparently. Nothing like last minute deciding whether you can do, you know, 100 miles. In third place, second place was Drew Beswick. And um, he wasn't that far, Drew wasn't far ahead of our first place um, athlete. Someone who was actually, this race especially told me last night, means quite a lot to him. He come up here with a, to, and he ha, was really pleased to have a really, really good race, um, was Vlad Chatrov. So thanks Vlad. If you haven't been onto our Facebook page and please go on and see that live feed, that, interview, that little interview we did with Vlad last night. You probably didn't see it because you're either still running or you were sleeping because that was at around 1.20 a.m. this morning. Yeah, I've been up since then. Um, yeah, please go and check it out. Please fast forward through. You don't have to watch all of what's on there.
So we're going to do the age category awards for the 30k. This will be the last one besides the Red Bull Run So we'll do, so please hang around. Um, some of these people may not be here because they probably weren't aware they get a medal for this age category award. I think there's a little prize or is it just a medal? So we'll start with, what are we starting with? We're going to start with the young ones. So in the 18 to 29, third place in the 18 to 29 female was Jessica Ronan. Second was Simone Brick. And first in that age category was Sarah Alonzo Martinez. So please come and collect your medals. 18 to 29. Age category. Age category. So for 18 to 18 to 29. Your first eight in that age category. Yeah. So, yeah, um, Sarah's not quite understanding my very strong Australian accent. I didn't realise I had such a strong accent until I was trying to speak to the Spanish yesterday. Simone, she gets a medal, silver medal, and Jessica Ronan, she may not be here. In the 30 to 39 category, I'll start calling out the names so you can start coming up. Third place was Kelly pritchard Pershek. Second, Deborah Kabor. And first was Patricia McGibbon. Awesome. I'll start calling out the 40 to 49. Third place was Katie McKenzie. So Katie's no stranger to the podium in our local trail events, so it's good to see her come back and really push herself again in this event. Second place was Leela Hancox. This is our 40 to 49 women. And first place was Anna Munro. This is our 40 to 49 females in the 30K. No, none of our 40 to 49 women. In our 50 to 59, I have a feeling some of these may not be here, but I'll call them out. Third place was Emma Allen. Second was Susanna Turpin. And first was Tylana Woodward. I have a feeling Tylana's not here because she would have gone back up the sunny coast. In our 60 plus, and a kudos to, kudos to anyone who, you know, taking on this trail. Uh, second was Marion Sanders and first was Nancy Mitchell. So if you're here, please come and collect your age category award. All right. Let's move on to the men's. 18 to 29 in the 30K. Third was Trey Keyworth. Second, Nathan Chapman. And first was Brody Nankervis. In the 30 to 30, while we're just finding um, Brody's gold medal there, we'll start calling out the 30 to 39. 18 to 29 male, that is. Okay, 30 to 39 male. Third place was Peter Babas. Second was Aidan Hobbs. And third was Antonio Martinez Perez. And first, second Aiden. Second Aiden. And first, Antonio. Got it. For our 40 to, we'll get a photo, but while they're getting a photo, I'll start, call out the 40 to 49. Third was Luke Jones. 
second was Matt Lusty. And in first place was Mirko Rootgers. And in our 50 to 59, third place, James Rigney. James is here. Third place in our 50. Colin Robertson was second. Third for James, yeah. Second was Colin Robertson. And first place was Jan Caters. Jan's not here. Absolutely. If you, we love giving out these good for age medals. And as 60 plus men, third place was Sean Pascoe. Second was David Hegarty, and third was Tody Liron. So we're going to do the male Red Bull climb before hopefully they haven't gone. So the Red Bull climb started at the JC Saw. Aidan Hobbs, are you still here? Yeah, cool. So the Red Bull climb starts at that JC Saw's um, Slaughter Falls. Um, and Aidan would have been fairly familiar with this having run it last year and he would have uh, really pushed it up there. So we, we congratulate Aidan for taking out that red bubble climb this year. So I think he was leading the race at that point. We had great fun tracking him throughout the morning and there was a lot of discussion about how long he, those legs would last. <laughs> We've, yet, we've, we've we're still working through some issues, timing issues. So for the women's race, we just want to wait before we announce that one. Okay, so there were <laughs> proving that you must always look for the timing mat and run over it. <laughs> and, and and I love their honesty. It always happens. We we sometimes get up here and we announce the results, and people go, "No, I didn't come third." We announce them as third. I was fourth. I love people's honesty up here. So the winner of our Red Bull Challenge was Jessica Ronan. She's not here, so we can't give it right. Yeah. Runners coming in. We think there's some 110k runners. Can someone go, yes, they are, or no, no, I just did 20. We also had this year something new at this event, thanks to our sponsor Sunto. There were two Sunto watches on offer. So that was actually going to go to, and we have to check this because we decided that. So um, the Sunto watches at the moment, as we know, Australia's having a few delivery issues. And so they've sent 
Sunto watches from Australia, which, which haven't arrived, arrived. And, and then they've also sent another batch of Sunto watches to Australia, but from overseas, just in case, to arrive. So we're waiting for these Sunto watches to arrive. So once we find out um, when they're here, we'll obviously send them out to you. So massive apologies for that. Um, it is what it is. So apologies. And then we, um, the Sunto Climb, obviously our sponsor is Sunto and we love those watches. It starts at the bottom of the Kangaroo Cliffs and then it finishes a 500 metre climb and it finishes at the Red Bull Arch. So Cora is quickly <laughs> getting those results up for us. So no pressure, Cora. <laughs> She's working through a spreadsheet now. We're all a little bit sleep deprived. <laughs> cool, cool. I'm just going to have my last words and then I'm going to hand over and go to bed, I think. I'm going to pack up that River City Runners team. Yeah, I'm gonna, that's what I'm going to do. Shona said, shall we thank the volunteers? I'm, I'm on it, I'm doing it. Um, no, what makes this event is, I'm going to be hacking emotional. I definitely need some sleep or a beer. Um, is the volunteers, you know, they, are, they, they have a couple of hours sleep in a car or no sleep. They, they, they front run the course, they mark the course, they remark the course. Um, and it's, it's not just the weekend, it's the week and possibly the week after. And we've got sweepers out there demarking the course and of course the checkpoints. They all make your experience amazing. So I want to be a big shout out to, we've already mentioned them all, I, I'm not going to remember them all. But I just want to say thank you, massive thank you to all those people if you're here. Please pass it on, we've had nothing but positive feedback. From our, volunteer, from our runners over the weekend about how great they were at the checkpoints. I'm making sure we could get to all parts of the course and just in case we need to get some runners out with all American wheeling around there for the drives. Do you think it's pretty crazy running those tra tra trails in that course? Imagine what it's like in a car, a four-wheel drive. <laughs> Not sure. I hear them on the radio about where they go and I'm thinking, I don't think I would ever want to be in a car driving down there. I'm quite happy trail running, running there, but I'm not sure I'd drive. So um, thank you to those guys. I spent a lot of time chatting, and um, I hope you enjoy the live feed. I hope you go and check out our live feed. Uh, ben and I worked pretty hard trying to make, <laughs> make it interesting. Um, uh, elements of, they're, they're taking photos at the finish line, they were responsible for feeding, they're taking the footage, there was live footage on the trail, there's some amazing footage on the course, you know, they were trying to run along with some of our runners, so, and they had this really fancy camera gear, and they were, yeah, they were doing, I, I don't know who that guy was, I did hear they were mountain bikers. So they are, they are into their sport as well, but they're not runners. So I was giving, Ben and I were giving mountain bikers a bit of a hard time last night. And Lockie went, piped up and said, hey, hey, we're mountain bikers. But no, thanks for all their help. And we only want to try and make that, um, act, you know, make it broadcast um, gets better every year. So we had live feed for a couple of hours three or four hours uh, to this, this year. Let's, we'll probably have a bit more on ice. We've already got some ideas happening for that. So Cora, you, didn't, you hardly saw her over the weekend, but she was up in the ops room um, directing everybody. And she's like that voice of calm reasoning behind the scenes you'd hear if you hear on a radio you probably heard her very calmly directing people um confirming checking in um making sure everything run effectively so yeah between them Cora and Shona have put on such an amazing event here amazing experience for all our runners big thanks to Hayley I see Hayley over here 
Well, she wasn't able to run this weekend, but she spends a lot of time with the runners over the weekend. She got mentioned quite a bit for our last Sportiva team, so they have nothing but the utmost respect for her. So great to see her here at the finish line supporting us. While we're waiting for Shona and Corner to, <laughs> while we're waiting for Shona and Corner, I've just spotted Nicole Bunyan over here. Nicole was going to come and she actually messaged me and said, oh, I've, I'm, I'm coming to do the 60, you know, and she was asking me a bit about the course, so I think she had a feeling it was going to be hard. <laughs> and, you know, I think she did the really smart thing and just thought, I'm just going to dip my toe in here and just do the 30. And you were here actually on the Gold Coast last weekend. So can you speak, I just want to speak a bit how, about this weekend and, you know, what it, how it went for you. Uh, it was tough. I loved it. Like, it was a great event. Fabulous event. Really well done. Great support on course. But I will say um, my training was not enough for the back end. Um, I found the climbs tough, but I, I ran well. Probably one of my strongest runs, I reckon, in the last few years, I've been struggling with my running, so it's actually ignited passion back again for races. So I was excited to have the opportunity to come, and I really thank the race directors for bringing me here, um, and I can't wait to share this with my community. Cool. So we look forward to seeing a lot more. Yeah, and I do think at this event, we could have had a few more women in the mix. You know, I think Marie proved, you can, um, Marie, sorry, proved that you, with a bit of guts and determination, you can get that miler done. Yes, it's hard. Yes, but that's the challenge. But it's not big and scary. I don't think it's worth doing. So thanks for coming, Nicole. I really love your support.